Because if you don't click the notification bell, YouTube can be weird sometimes and not tell you whenever we release new stuff and then you're late to the party. So subscribe, help us get to 10,000 subscribers. And then, <laughs> excuse me, also click the notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever we do these uh, sort of videos. Do you think both will have three sacks this game? You know, Bakhtiari and uh, the, I'm blanking, the other offensive linemen um, are playing, and they're really, really good at pass, at pass protection. So three sacks, no. I would say one and a half. How about that? One and a half for Nick Bosa, which is still good, right, babyface? I think it's totally fine. Why do the 49ers get so disrespected in the national media? Almost nobody is picking us to win. Most disrespected 9-1 and one team ever. Yeah, we are very, very disrespected, but I've kind of gotten used to this, right? I mean, does it matter if ESPN is talking about the 49ers? No, what matters is if ESPN is talking about the 49ers when we're holding the Vince Lombardi trophy, right? Would you rather be super respected and lose in the divisional round or be completely disrespected and win a Super Bowl. For me, I would much rather have the hardware than the respect. So when you get the hardware, then you also get the respect as well. I think Emmanuel Sanders would start over Witherspoon, or Emmanuel Mosley would start over uh, Witherspoon. Do you agree? Well, it doesn't matter if I agree because the 49ers disagree. They have officially announced they're starting Witherspoon on Sunday over uh, Emmanuel Mosley. So what do you guys think about that? Mosley not... Um, Mosley not getting the start as Witherspoon will get the start for him. Mosley's been fine, and if Witherspoon gets injured or has a cramp or whatever, then sure, you can go ahead and put uh, Mosley back in there, but Witherspoon, or I put Witherspoon back in there, excuse me, but Witherspoon will be starting on Sunday. 49ers, will this ever be live on Facebook? Yes, it will be live on Facebook, is what I'm being told. We're live right now, facebook.com slash chatsports49ers. That's live on Facebook, so there you go. Chat 49ers, excuse me, is the uh, Facebook.com down below slash chat 49ers live on Facebook. So if, you're, if your mom doesn't know how YouTube works and she just loves Facebook like moms do, tell her this is where you go, right there. See, we got it all. It's all laid out for you guys here on the 49ers only Chat Sports YouTube channel. So we're live on YouTube right now and also live on Facebook. Um, we had this one earlier, but I, I still, I think uh, Mosley should start over with a spoon. Do you agree? Again, I think Emmanuel Mosley uh, is starting for sure. And so we'll move on from that. Uh, Thomas, do you agree Richie James needs more burn? Also, the play offensively has changed. So should we do more fast motion plays that helped us in the first few games? Okay, this is interesting. Does Richie James need more burn? And then also the fast motion that helped us in the first few games. Not knowing what he's talking about, the Niners early on would do a bunch of what they call ghost motion before the uh, snap where they send Sam, uh, Samuel or they would send Bourne in motion to basically tell Jimmy Garoppolo what the defense is running, whether it's man or uh, zone. People do this all the time. We've kind of gotten away from it a little bit. I still see the ghost motion, um, but I'm fine with using it as much as we need, although has our offense really been struggling since we stopped using the motion early on? No. I think uh, uh, O'Kyle Shanahan knows what he's doing, so I'm not too worried about that. And R R Richie James is Richie James, right? If Richie James was this great receiver, he'd be playing a lot more wide receiver instead of just doing punt returns, which he's even uh, not been so good at that this year. Can Packers stop our run game? Well, statistically, no, because they're very, very bad against the run. Uh, Carolina ran all over them. Philadelphia on a Thursday night had like 200 yards rushing against them. That's how you beat them is long, sustaining drives. A lot of Coleman, a lot of Coleman, then Jeff Wilson, then Coleman, and then maybe play action. I see a lot of runs, a lot of successful runs against Green Bay on Sunday because, again, they're very, very bad against the run. Um, ooh, what are you thinking about the future of the 49ers? I think it's good. I think it's very, very good. You didn't waste all of your uh, draft picks on, you know, going out and trading for Odo Beckham Jr. or, you know, trading for Antonio Brown like we had reported that they were interested in doing. And now you have all your draft picks and uh, you should be good in 2020. Now, future is in short term future. After that three game stretch, Falcons, a very winnable game. Rams at home, very winnable. And then at Seattle to finish out the year, which you might not even need to win because the division could be locked up. See you right here. 918264 and obviously Arizona there. Thank goodness we're done with Arizona because very underrated are the Arizona Cardinals. We know how, how good they are, but they've been very much underrated so far this year, and they've had our number so far. And I think that Seattle and the Rams also play Arizona one more time. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. So we're cheering on the Cardinals now to go ahead and keep beating them. Um should give more touches to Jeff Wilson Jr. Do you agree? I do agree, and he will be getting more touches because Brita is out on Sunday. Now if you mean when Breida is back in the lineup, does Jeff Wilson need more touches? Sure, but I'd much rather give the ball to Breida and Coleman over Jeff Wilson. Now, again, Jeff Wilson, he's been really good whenever he's had to fill in. Being the third best running back on this team, 
Might be the second best running back on a lot of other teams. So he's going to get a lot on Sunday. Will he get some whenever Breida gets back? Mm, I still think he's delegated to that 5 to 10 uh, carry range whenever they're all healthy. You think I should play Kittle for my fantasy team or Dwelly? Okay, wait till Sunday because you have until like the game starts, which is at, which is, is, is at night. Wait till Sunday where they will officially confirm Kittle because they're hinting that Kittle's going to play, but it's not official yet. If it's official, start Kelly or Kittle. Good Lord, Kittle. If uh, if it's not official, then go ahead, obviously, and start Dwelly because Dwelly is probably a great red zone target like we saw last week. So just wait. You have time. You have time. How many <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo interceptions versus Green Bay? Justin getting a lot of love here today. Uh, at least one. Hate to say it, but Jimmy always likes to throw one bad interception a game, it feels like. Sometimes two. I think one. The corners for Green Bay are very, very good. Kevin King. And I'm blanking on the other one right now. But they are good corners. they got good safeties. I think at least one. And it'll be one that we all go, really, Jimmy? And then he'll come back and throw a touchdown, and we'll be fine. So no worries there. But I think at least one. Um, oh, geez. Look at this question. Holy cow. Favorite 49ers quarterback. Let me see it down below. Joe Montana, Steve Young, Jimmy Garoppolo, or other? I don't know what other you guys are going to pick. Okay, let me see these right now. Um, I love Jimmy Garoppolo, but how do you pick him over Joe Montana and Steve Young? I'm more curious if you'd rather have Joe Montana or Steve Young. Comment down below what you guys, uh, who is your favorite quarterback in 49er history? Joe Montana, Steve Young, Jimmy Garoppolo, or other? Get some of those down below in the comments. I'm curious where we're at. Obviously, yeah, Montana baby, there it is, right? Young, okay. Someone said Blaine Gabbard. That's good. That was funny. Uh, Kaepernick, really? Um, Montana, Young. Kind of a tie right now between Montana and Young. Uh, Montana, Steve Young, Young. Okay, so Steve Young's winning right now. I guess because a younger crowd would recognize Steve Young more than uh, more than Joe than, than than Joe Montana. I did like the Blaine Gabbard guy just for fun. That was fun. We forget that that was a dark time with Chip Kelly in the 49er history. Uh, does Jimmy Garoppolo have a legit deep ball? Yes, he does. I think he does. Yeah, I think he has a great deep ball, especially whenever uh, Emmanuel Sanders is healthy because he throws it really, really well. How can we never throw the deep ball? Well, Emmanuel Sanders was injured, so... And then before Emmanuel Sanders, who are you throwing the, the, the deep ball to? Debo Samuel, possession receiver, not a deep ball guy. Kendrick Bourne, should be a deep ball guy, can't catch them. Marquise Goodwin, basically MIA because he's like 50 years old and just can run straight. I don't know why he's been bad either. Really not a lot of great deep threats on this team besides uh, Kittle across the middle, which rhymed funny, and then, uh, and then of course, Sanders whenever he's healthy. I think our front four will get to Rodgers like Chargers did. Joey Bosa had a field day. Yes. Remember. They were up in San Diego. San Diego. They're up. They're up in uh, Los Angeles, and they put. And the Packers only scored like, like eleven points, and it was because Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa's brother, dominated rushing the passer. That was a day that everyone went, "Oh, maybe Green Bay's not that good of a team." Now they are, but I do think that uh, we're gonna have a big, big day rushing uh, the passer if we even if you get close, just hit Aaron Rodgers. Kind of disrupt that timing, disrupt those throws. If Bosa could have a big field day, a.k.a. older brother Bosa, younger brother Nick should have a big day as well. I'm really excited. We'll see what happens. Um, again, guys, deals, 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 deals. All, that's all we do here. Great deals. Look at this. Great hoodie on sale right now. Chatsports.com forward slash 49er sale. And this is like 40% off. This is a steal. Nike hoodie too. Like legit thermal wear stuff. So you get cold, put that on. You got the polos right there. Chatsports.com slash 49er sale. All up there. There's more stuff than this, too. The long sleeve shirt with, the, of course, the logo on the center. A lot of great stuff going on. So be sure to check that stuff out. It's like all 40% off. So Christmas is coming. Got that little kid in your family. Maybe your dad's a 49er fan. Maybe you want to buy stuff for yourself because everyone should buy themselves a Christmas gift. This is where you go. Chatsports.com slash 49er sale. JT O'Sullivan was just put in the comments. That's good. Um, should we sign Kaepernick if we trade Mullins or Beathard in the offseason? No. There's your answer. No, absolutely not. You do not want to bring Colin Kaepernick back. Okay, let's just move on. Uh, do you think we need Kittle in order to have effective running game? He's a great, he's a great um, uh, run blocker, but no, I think we can be effective without him because Juszczyk is back. Now, Juszczyk wasn't was there last week, but we struggled against the run, but I think we're going to be okay on Sunday. We're at least going to have 100 yards rushing as a team. We have to. Um, how do you think George Kittle and Sanders play this game versus the Green Bay after their injuries. Okay, so Sanders is going to be 100%. He'll, he'll be totally fine. Kittle, you could see a lighter low. This is a very real possibility. So we'll see what happens. But I would say that if you're going to say who's going to have a better game, Sanders, because he's way more healthy than Kittle is. Kittle, again, still trying to get back from that injury. If he plays, I don't expect a full workload. I just got on. What's up with Kittle? Ryan, welcome. You're a little late to the party. But what is up with Kittle is he practiced today. 
There you go. Look at that. We got it right for you. Practice today, but had non-contact practice, a.k.a. was not hit today. So he's most likely going to play, but it's not a guarantee. How about that? So we'll know more Saturday and Sunday. I'd say 85%. It's his number two. It works out. 85% chance that Kittle is going to play on Sunday. And again, we'll know more closer to uh, the time of kickoff. Follow me on Twitter, at RealThomasMod. I give updates on that, on that sort of thing. So if you like instant updates, do that. I like the black hoodie better, Thomas. All right, Jim, then buy it. How about that? Either one works, right? Oh, there it is. Look at that. That one's pretty sweet, though. Mm. What do you guys think? The black one or the other one? Oh, man. I would do the other one. I'm kind of a sucker for Nike stuff. If I was picking. See, that one's I got the little Nike check on the side. I don't know. And it says property of 49ers. But the black one looks sick on Sunday night. If you're going to wear that on Sunday night football, are you, tell, are you kidding me? Man, either one. Get both. You can't go wrong. Getsports.com slash 49ers sale. I would uh, definitely check them out. What do you think, or who do you think will win the division? My prediction is Seattle. All right, so there's a Seattle fan in the chat right now. Nation 105. Is that Seahawks Nation? Or uh, I don't know. Um, I think we're still going to win it. Seattle does not have a very easy schedule coming up either. I'm trying to remember who they play, but they have the Rams, they have us, they have the Cardinals, and then one other game that I saw, I was like, ooh. Oh, they have Philadelphia on Sunday, and that one is uh, going to be difficult. Eagles have been very, very good at home this year, and they're getting healthier. So they could lose on Sunday. And here are the odds right now. Bet the SI, obviously, minus 250 for us. Seattle, plus 250, and the Rams are way down there. Again, they need, like, a miracle and then some to actually win the division. Here you go. Look at this. They have at, this is Seattle, at the Eagles. Then they have the Vikings at home. That could be for a wild card spot. That's very important. At the Rams. And then I think they have the Panthers, yeah, at Panthers, Cardinals, not an easy one, and then 49ers. So all their remaining hard games are on the road, at Philadelphia, at the Panthers, obviously at the Rams, and then they get the, their one home game against the Vikings. So it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Here's the Rams' uh, remaining schedule. Ravens, that's an L. At Cardinals, that's an L. Seahawks, that's definitely an L. Um, so, yeah, I'm not even worried about the Rams. Cowboys, I don't know, ask Tom. Well, what does is, what is Tom Downey think? Is that an L for the Cowboys or an L for the Rams? We had a root for the Cowboys on that day, um, and then obviously us and then the Cardinals. So we'll see what happens. Car Cowboys got a tough schedule coming up, though. I know we're not Cowboys fans, but it's brutal. I don't know if they're going to win their division. Um, Gunner says, why is everyone focusing on how hard our schedule is for three games while the Seahawks also have a very hard schedule ahead that no one is y'all about? Okay, I agree. We do, well, we just did it. So there you go. I agree. The Seahawks schedule is very difficult, but we do have Packers, Ravens, Saints. You're talking division leader, division leader, division leader. Talking NFC favorite, Packers maybe? AFC favorite, NFC favorite with the Saints. They're pretty good. I'm just going to say that. They are very, very good. A lot of good questions here. What are the chances we win all three of the next three games? Mm, 60%. How about that? I just don't think it's I, it's it's so hard to do. I'll be so impressed if we beat Green Bay and then go on the road and beat Baltimore and then go on the road and beat the Saints. I would be unbelievably impressed if we were able to do that. I think two of the three are going to be wins. So we'll see what happens. What do you guys think? I would bet, like I said, two of the three we are going to win. And if you do that, chatsports.com forward slash bet, promo code 49ers, bet DSI again. Deal one, or sorry, promo code 49ers for 120% deposit bonus. That way you guys can bet on the game and make money whenever the 49ers win. Promo code 49ers, chapsports.com forward slash bet. 120% deposit bonus. I would bet on the Niners on Sunday. I'm picking them to beat Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Aaron Rodgers, not very mobile. Yikes. I don't know if I agree with that. How many sacks do you think the Niners will get? He is very mobile. When did he become unmobile? Um, I'm going to go with four. Four stacks of Aaron Rodgers. Bosa will get one and a half. No D4. I think Armstead's going to get one or two. And then pick whoever else you want the defensive line to have. But I think four. No more than four, though. I don't think it's going to be a field day. Um, yeah, the O-line got to keep Jimmy G upright to throw the deep ball. I agree. Obviously, that's been a problem, too, is Jimmy G's been making a lot of throws with guys, like, running right at his face. So they need to do a lot better job of uh, protecting him in terms of the deep ball. Give him just a little bit more time. Maybe leave in use check, extra blocker, you know, pick up some of these rushing defenders. We'll see what happens going forward. Um, we'll keep going with the questions here. Taylor and Goodwin would not be a part of this quite. Oh, yeah, I agree with that, 100%. No way. Taylor's on IR. Goodwin is MIA. They're not going to be a part of this team next year. Not at all. I agree. I agree. Good job, Geek Freak. Um, what else we got? Look at the chat over here. Um, I see Jimmy G getting the game-winning TD pass. Boy, that wouldn't that be nice? Um, yeah, use your hashtag 49ers. Get your questions in here. We got a little bit more time. Let's keep going. Um, what do you think about Des Bryant for a deep threat addition? Really? 
no, 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 no. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I just saw this one. I'm glad that the guys back at the studio pulled this. Has Justin School earned the starting spot even when Staley is healthy? I vote yes. I vote yes. He's been great. He's been absolutely fantastic. Um, Staley, again, out with the finger surgery, the, the fractured finger, I think on his right hand. Uh, he's gone for at least two or three weeks. So School has a chance. Hardest three games, good pass rushers on all three teams. He holds up. I think he has it. I'd rather have Jim Tom Sula or Chip Kelly. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, Jim Tom Sula, because I hate the Chip Kelly system. Can't stand it. He ruined Philadelphia. He ruined the 49ers. He's ruining UCLA. Awful. The loss to Green Bay happens. Would it affect more morale going against the other big teams? I think it will not with Kittle go 49ers. Yeah, I don't think it'll affect morale. And you can't let it affect uh, morale anyway, because you got to go out there and win another game against a good hard team. So, no, I don't think it's going to affect morale if we lose. It'll be our second loss of the year. Uh, what do you think total yards rushing will be this week with 28 ranked D in Green Bay? 165. How about that? That's over 100 at least. I think over 150. We'll see. Um, yeah, it's a good question. It's a bad defense in, in Green Bay. Um, the team was 100%. We would win every game. Every game? Like like the Patriots did in 06? No, I don't know about that. At least one. At least one. We, we, we already did. So I honestly like... I think it's almost impossible for any team in the modern NFL to go through a season with not, without losing at least two at least two games, even with health. So, sorry, not Mario. All right, we have a question here. Best team in the NFC besides the 49ers? Who scares you the most? Is it Green Bay? Is it the Saints from New Orleans? Is it, uh, is it the Vikings? Is it the Eagles? Is it the Cowboys? Is it, is it someone else? So let me know what you guys think. Who scares you the most? Who's the best team in the NFC besides the 49ers? Um, let me know who it is. I would argue it is the Packers. So that's who I would pick. Saints are, you know, the Saints are the Saints. I think that they're a good team, obviously. Someone says Ravens. But that's not NFC. That's AFC. So, yeah, they're scary. But I would go with uh, an NFC team. Saints, uh, Ravens again. Okay, Ravens, Ravens. No, Seattle. There you go. Seattle. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Hey, follow me on Twitter. At Real Thomas Mott. I update on all things 49ers there, so be sure to go ahead and give me a follow. And of course, we'll be uh, give the channel a subscribe because we're doing a lot of great stuff here. We'll do our grading video after the game on Monday morning. So we're going to be signing off here in a second. Go 49ers on Sunday. I say 31 27 over the Packers. We'll have to wait and see what happens, though. It's going to be close, it's going to be high scoring. Kittle should play. We'll see what happens. Hey, I really appreciate everyone coming out here for our live Q&A video. We do these basically every Thursday evening. So subscribe, notification bell. That way you are notified when we go live. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So for Chat Sports, without further ado, Thomas Mott signing off. Go Niners on Sunday. See you guys in the next video. Good night.